Hello. Shortly, I will be moving out. We are so close now. I feel it's all I'm talking about at the moment, but it is consuming every waking moment of my brain. Money, packing, the future, jobs. Do I have enough space for all my stuff where I'm gonna move to? No. And I am struggling to pack. Not because I'm not excited, but because I want to document everything before I pack it all away. Might sound a bit silly, but that's how my brain works. I did a long room tour last summer, and I don't think my room has changed much since that video. But there's a few things that are in that video, are in my room right now, that I don't think I'm going to be able to take with me when I move. One of the things that I have become quite attached to in the last year, two years, is my desk. I bought my desk for £50 off a second-hand selling site in 2016, and my dad and I put it together that summer. We put it together so well that we're not convinced we're going to be able to take it apart without breaking it in several places. So the consensus is that it's going to stay here. I'm really upset by that. I want it to come with me, but we're not going to get it out the front door. No way. So I thought I would document my desk today, do a desk tour video. First of all, let's change location. Ta-da! So this is my desk area. There's a lot of stuff. If this is the first time you are watching me, there is one thing you must know. I am not a minimalist. Far from it. As far as you can get. To be fair, this month I have been tackling my hoarding disorder, but the stuff I've been throwing away isn't the stuff that's in my room. So the room doesn't really look that different. But believe me, I am trying my best to get rid of stuff. That's Puss Puss using the litter tray. Right, Puss Puss is done now. She's back in the room. I'm just gonna turn this on because I forgot. So this is where I edit all my videos. Here on this magical iMac. I don't think my desktop has ever looked so tidy before. Uh, I recently cleared everything. I haven't just hidden it to do this video, I promise. Changing topic though, in terms of organisation, although I organise sections of my room, my desk is a massive mess. But it's organised chaos. I know roughly where everything is. And despite, I don't know, pleasure and ornaments being mixed in with work, I'm okay with that. When I move, things will change. But for the last two and a half years, three years, this sort of setup has been okay for me. One of the things I don't like about this setup is I'm nowhere near a window and because of the length of the room, it's quite dark, this side of the room. So sometimes when I'm working, I can lose track of time. A few years ago, I was living in a flat in London and the desk was built into the corner of the room next to a massive window that overlooked London. And I was on the ninth floor, so the view was stunning. But as I was working, I could feel time passing. I could feel and see the light change. Whereas here, it's like working in a box. That is one thing that I can't wait for, windows. I guess it is something to bear in mind. When you are working, be aware of daylight. I also have a sad lamp that I put on the desk when I'm working. Um, I don't have it on there all the time. I'm so nervous of knocking it off. I only put it on there when I need it, but I find that helps. Moving on. I know this isn't my desk, but in terms of a chair, I have a regular spinny chair. This belongs to my dad, who has lent it to me. It's on loan. Eventually, I want to buy one of those kneely chairs um, for posture, things like that. But for the time being, this is what I got. No lumbar support. Uh-uh. And this blanket here is one of my baby blankets from when I was born. It's as old as I am. Quarter of a century. Now I'm gonna move the camera a bit closer. I feel you're a bit far away over there. So this is the right-hand side of my desk. So we have my Bella Beats spring. Don't break it. This is made of glass. It's heavy. Eventually I will do a video on this, I promise. I have lots to say. Anyway, I try to keep this here. I find it's best to have it in eyesight, otherwise I forget about it. But for the sake of it being in the way, I'm just gonna move it over there just for a moment. So this is my camera shelf. This is where I keep my cameras. So this is my Canon 600D that doesn't really work anymore, but I can't quite let go of it just yet. I keep all my cameras anyway. This is my Canon G7X. It's not the best of cameras, but it's got me out of trouble. Uh, the audio is terrible on this. If you're gonna use this for stationary vlogging, invest in a external microphone. Don't rely on that. 
To film this video, I am using the Canon 80D and a Rode microphone. When I'm not using the Rode microphone, that goes there, and the camera goes on the bookshelf behind me. So we have a few lenses, then we have a box of electricals, backup chargers, leads, spare tripod bases, my external microphone. I'm having a bit of trouble with this. I'm determined to use this properly, but it needs more of a setup than that. That I just plug in and go. So for the time being, I'm using that, but my intention is to use this more. Next to it, we have my money, all my change. We have some massaging tools. I know that's a cross. It's meant to be a cross. Um, you hold it in your hands like that. There we go. Um, or you can use it like that. Another one, this is good for really small knots, like here. Oh, it's so good there. Um, but going back to money... Um, old money, current money... I was going through my post office box recently and I found a five pound note in one of the envelopes and I got excited, five pounds! And no, it's one of the old five pound notes, so it's no longer legal tender. Darn it! But any change I put in there. We have my Kindle, we have my Bible journal. Because this book is similar to lots of the other notebooks I will show you later, I try to keep this separate. Um, it's so easy to get them confused. Up there we have my purses, my passport, memory card holder. Don't get too excited, this goes back 15 years or so, so some of them in here are 20 megabytes. But every single memory card I have ever had, I have kept. We have matches, some badges. We have some badges that I designed. Link in my Etsy store downstairs. And I think that's about it. Here. Yes, I am wearing pyjama trousers. Thanks for noticing. Most of my videos are filmed wearing pyjama trousers anyway. So this is my card drawer. There we go. Oh, money! That's five euros, not five pounds. Every single card that I don't use, that's not in my purse, goes in here. I try not to keep everything in my purse because when a purse goes missing, everything needs replacing. But we have discount cards, uh, membership cards, coffee cards, library card. It looks messy, but that's all that's in there. And a 2p coin. This is a bit of a useless space, to be honest. I wish this was a pull-out drawer that I could put my keyboard on. That would be so much better. That's the only thing I would change about this desk. So I don't tend to use that, it's more storage. So this is my computer. Hi computer! That was a bit slow. So I am currently editing my bullet journal video. There. I have to insert some cutaways I've not shot yet, so it's not quite finished. Woohoo! It's a long video. This is my external DVD player, because this computer doesn't have a DVD player. Yes, I do use Netflix and BBC iPlayer, but there's still so many things that aren't online that I have on DVD, so it's always good to have an external player. Also, if you want to burn stuff, or toast stuff. Um, we have a random flower. I forgot to mention the stuff on the very front of my desk. So this is my current keyboard. My computer's just turned on. I don't like this keyboard. It's not my favourite one to use. It's too big. But this is all I've got, so I'm going to make do. And the next thing on my desk is my trackpad. This took a long time to learn how to use. My hands, the muscle memory. But now I know how to use it, I struggle to use the magic mice. Mouse. And this is my boss player. My brother and my mum bought me this about a year and a half, two years ago. They owed me. <laughs> Now this has revolutionised my life. I'm just gonna hold it to my chest, it's so expensive. The sound quality is awesome, the bass, and it's the first Bluetooth speaker I've ever had, therefore it connects to everything. To summarise, I love you. I love you so much. Now I must admit, as a tritcher, the surface of my desk does often get messy. Messy in the sense, general mess, and hair. And because of the hair, it can be difficult to clean it. Cleaning my desk is a huge ordeal. Um, sticky, wet hair, blech. Even today, I cleaned my desk. Doesn't look it. I was just scooping off tons of hair. This is the primary place where I lose my hair, so it's a hairy situation. And even now, there's still hair because I continuously tear. 
every couple of months I have to take everything off to get round the back because um, it's a bit more messier behind there, especially the leads. I don't know if you can see behind there. I mean, I have four hard drives. I have far too many hard drives. One, two, three, four. Those are the only ones that are currently in use. I have about 20 in total. I don't just hoard physical possessions. I hoard digital stuff as well, but I have been tackling that. They each have a different name, they have a different purpose, and two of them are partial backups. Because of the amount of stuff I have, I can't back up everything. So I back up the tremendously important stuff, like the photo every day, family photos, my final videos, the exported ones, not the original files. The older I'm getting, the more I'm coming to understand that it's just unrealistic keeping all this footage. I'm never gonna watch it. Next to my hard drives, we have my notebooks. Most of them have come from Muji. Uh, and we also have my bullet journal for this year and my bullet journal from last year, this big blue book. Above it, we have ornaments and this mirror. I'm using this all the time. Above that, we have more ornaments. Now this massive Little Mermaid ornament is over 10 years old. I bought this when I was in Disneyland, Florida in 2007. And actually we had this shipped all the way back home. Didn't want to take it on the aeroplane just in case. And it's actually double-sided, so I'm constantly changing it to and fro. This egg I've had for at least 15 years. I think it's rose quartz. It's the first egg, gemstone egg, I ever bought. We have this. This is a temperature thermometer. This was one of the first things I ever bought with my AdSense revenue. Now I use it to pay my bills. Right, let's now ascend to the top of the desk squeaky chair. So this is the above my desk section. To be honest, this does change all the time. I had some Christmas decorations up here last month that I've just taken down. Hence why it looks so tidy, because I reorganised. But I always have cuddly toys up here. These are special ones. <laughs> that's my bracelet holder. What would Jesus do? My sound machine, although that's become quite redundant, with this and Calm, I can blare Calm through this. Calm is an app that I love. Hashtag not spun. <laughs> but I can't part with that. We've had that in this house for 20 odd years. It's here to stay. This is also quite special to me. I've had this 20 years. It's a rose quartz candle holder. I just, oh. I think the batteries have run out. This lights up like there's stars inside. Mum bought this for me in 2014, I think. These two photo frames are special to me. They've been in the background of so many videos in the last four years. I got them when I was gleaning from the, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, from the rubbish heap at Met Film School. At some point, someone had used these in a film and didn't want them anymore, so they threw them out and they let me take them home. And there's something about them that I, I love. Oh, I'm so sad. This is actually on my bookshelf, but I'm gonna hold it up anyway. This is something I designed. Again, linked to my Etsy downstairs. But I, I like putting that somewhere I can see it. So it goes there. As for this side, this is more of the workstation. So we have a lamp. That lamp tends to move backwards and forwards, but that's where it is today. So we have coloured pens, writing pens, scissors, ruler, just the basics. Most of my stationary stuff is next door. I have an art room next door, which I've just started packing. So give it a month, it will be my brother's bedroom once more. In the background, we have this. A few years ago, one of you sent this to me and I love it. One day I will varnish that so it's shiny. That's matte. But for now I, I love it. And then, right in the corner, we have this. This is something I painted two years ago. Really? Yeah, two years. Wow. Okay, that's, that's scary. We have Mr. Bubble. Again, he's been in the background of everything in the last five years. Finally, we have the people. Over the last year, they've been moving around the entire room. They don't have a set place, but for now, they are there. This knitted dress here was knitted by my grandma in the 60s, and I've made a use for it there. And last of all, let's go to the library. So this is under my desk, complete with cats. 
This is a very flattering angle. Don't nuzzle my camera. Ooh, a little bit of belly. We have all the Harry Potters, my camera box from my ATD, books I've been given, colouring books. This is a majority of the Christian stuff that I was given as a child. Uh, leaflets, booklets, I kept everything. We have CDs. This CD is 24 years old. Disney. Dangerous Beauty soundtrack. Inner Talk. Ever After soundtrack. Right, let's round this off. I am kind of worried what sort of response I will get to this because I have seen many desk tour videos in the last year or so that have tended to be more minimalist in comparison to this and they've received lots of criticisms in the comments that they're too cluttered. So if they're cluttered and they're minimalist, what was that? I have no idea what sort of feedback I will get. I think that's Millie. I love my cats, but the one time they annoy me is when I'm trying to film and all five of them demand my attention. And to be honest, that's... Oh, my cat's now attacking my tripod. Insert cat. There we go, the obligatory cat clip. The thing is, it looks like she doesn't want to be on camera, but she nuzzles me as I'm filming. You have to make your mind up. Right, focus. Everybody quiet? Yes? So there we go, that was my desk. Area. Area? I guess it's more of a corner of my room rather than a desk, but I hope you enjoyed it. I know my future self will be glad I did this. Um, she'll be watching this with nostalgia. Hi, future me. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Go back, there we go.